Hi there, Andrew here. Today I would like to teach you how to find the molar mass of ammonium hydrogen phosphate. It's a fairly straightforward process with the following table I made. Take a look. Bam. So the first thing I'm going to do is write down the individual elements I see in the compound. So we've got nitrogen, we've got hydrogen, we've got phosphorus, and we've got oxygen. Then we're going to write the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now there's a couple of subscripts uh, going on, so we just got to be careful. Anywhere there is no subscript, just put in a one for now. So in terms of nitrogen, the total amount of nitrogen is not only one, because inside of the ammonium ion you have one nitrogen, but you have two ammonium ions, and therefore you'd have two nitrogens. In other words, the simple way to calculate it is just take the inner subscript, multiply it by the outer subscript to find the total. So we'd have two nitrogens. Hydrogen now is the same thing. You got the inner subscript of a four, outer subscript of a two. So there's eight hydrogens in total here, but don't forget, uh-oh, there's also another hydrogen over here, and there's one, so that means you have a total of nine, okay? You also therefore have one phosphorus, that one's nice and easy, and you have four oxygen. Then we're gonna take the number of atoms of each and multiply it by the mass of the element. And these masses are found on the periodic table. Here they are. Hydrogen is 1.01, .01, nitrogen is 14.01, .01, oxygen is 16, and phosphorus is going to be 30.97. So that's what we're going to write down. So nitrogen is 14.01, .01, hydrogen is 1.01, .01, phosphorus is 30.97, and oxygen was 16. And then to find the total mass of the element in the compound, we're simply going to multiply this row on a cross. So that works out to be 28.02 units of mass for nitrogen. Hydrogen is going to be 9.09. .09. A phosphorus is 30, 30.97, and oxygen therefore will be 64. Now, add this column on up to find the total mass of the entire thing, the whole shebang. So this is going to be 132, 132.08. And the units here are grams per mole because we're finding molar mass. Now you know how to find the molar mass of ammonium hydrogen phosphate. Thanks so very much for tuning in. It's really not a bad process, right? It's pretty straightforward and you can use this process on any problem you need to find the molar mass. Thanks for watching.